Okay, suppose we have a random variable x and x is normally distributed with a mean mu and variance sigma squared. And suppose we have a sample for this random variable x1, x2, x3, all the way up to xn. Since we're given the the model's distribution and a data set or a sample, we can use a method called the maximum likelihood estimation or the MLE for short to estimate the parameters for this statistical model. And we're given a data set so we can actually use this to estimate, uh, to find the estimates for mu and the standard deviation. Okay, the PDF for a normal distribution is as follows. 1 sigma 2 pi times the exponential or minus 1 2 sigma squared times x taking u. Okay, so if we apply this for uh, n, n observations, we have f of x i given mu and variance we have x i take away mu squared so the way we denote the likelihood estimation is with a capital L so big L uh, u variance given the observations equals now equals the product of i equals to 1 up to n observations of the PDF FXI given so this is the same as i up to from 1 to n of 1 2 pi minus 1 x i take away mu squared. Okay, so now this this sign basically means find the product the product of this. So here this is a coefficient, so this is a constant. So if we do one 2 pi times 1, 2 pi, all the way up to this is just 2 pi to the n. Similarly, for, um, for this, we have e to the minus 1, 2 squared times xi take mu squared times e to the minus 1, xi take mu squared, and it goes up all the way to e minus 1, 2, xn, xi, with one, two, is it? Yeah, something like that. So this is just basically this just equals e of x i take me squared. So this product, so we finally have one to the power n times e to the minus x i take me. So this is the L equals this. 
now what we do is take the we'll take the log of this. So to take the log, we'll take the log of this. So this becomes log to power n plus log of e to the minus one to xi plus or minus there squared. So from your from the laws of logarithm the n comes down the power comes down so we have n log one plus the logs here are we have a log and an exponential so this is just simply So this we can still simplify this a bit further. So we have n log one uh, take away n log minus one to sum of x i squared. We know that the log of one is zero, so this is just zero. So our likelihood estimation is just minus n log standard deviation times 2 square root of 2 pi take over 1 sum of x i now our final few steps is to find the derivative the partial derivative of this function with respect to u uh, so this means treat the, the variance or any other variables as constants. So the partial derivatives of the curly d of L du. So this has no u inside, so it's just a constant. So if you derive if the deri the derivative of constant is just zero. However, the derivative the second term here has a u. So the derivative of that is just minus one i equals to one n of x i take mu. So the two comes down here. Uh, times it by minus one. So we have the twos cancel here and the minus cancel there as well. So we have one standard deviation square sum of i is 1 to n of xi take mu and we set this to 0 because we want to minimize so so now what we have is 1 standard deviation squared times the sum of xi take 1 variance squared times mu which equals zero. So now if we take that on the other side, so we have what we should have is one equals so the sum of a constant we just because we have n observations so we have n mu reverse tan mu squared and this this is what we have so to find so we take the, the, the variance squared on that side so we have n mu times this Okay, these just cancel out. So, putting a the hat there just to indicate the estimation that we have, and taking, bringing the n on that side, dividing both sides by n, so we have one over n sum of i up to n of x i. So that was quite simple. So that is the maximum likelihood estimation for you.